Hello YouTubers, Core 475 here, and I bring you the next series for my book my yeah book reviews I can just say. I bring you Siren, book one, story and art by To Toshika Ishiwa I also I will show you. Don't make fun of me because I do not know. Oh, I haven't really pronounced this name much, so, yeah. Don't answer the phone unless you want to deal into danger. That's, well, one of the main premises of the series. I'm just trying to get this focused. This is on my phone, so that's why the video will be weird. Yeah. I, I, uh, Akihi Yoshia just got transported to a world, to a warped or ultimate, uh, alternate dimension where you have to fight your way to our, back to our world or die trying. Urban legend. Save me. Those were the. Those were Sak Sakuraku Amiya's last words to her friend Yag Agahi Yoshia before she mysteriously went missing. Now Agahi is on a quest to find her. He's convinced that mythical sirens secret society has something to do with the recent rash of disappearance and now he seems to be caught up in a player as a player in their very deadly game. Siren is an amazing series. After, well, reading offline, I just had to get the series. Well, though seems short to some people, Siren is an amazing series for being just how many volumes it has in its series. With a rich cast of characters introduced throughout the series. And a, a very dense, um, very, ex um, very detailed plot, which it's told through a total of 16 volumes. Though after re finishing the series, it feels like it could go on for another series, just how it ends. And if you want to know why it's like that, read the series yourself. Siren, well, in the series, Siren is a, well, as it said on the back, an alternate dimension, which I don't want to go into full details where people are transported to fight for their lives to go back in time uh, back not uh, back to their home world uh, home sorry just one blank for a second with each um only a select few are able to survive in the dense and the era of the uh, siren world with only with those select few will gain um, headaches and um, nausea and will awaken their um, psych psych psychic powers within themselves. Each one varies from person to person, but the the groups are given as burst. Trance and rise. That's what it was. Trance being like be able to um, read minds, um, stop from people reading minds, telekinesis. Burst is like elemental attacks, and rise are enhancement body enhancements. 
Though throughout the series, it deals with giant, um, intense spoilers. Well, unless you buy the entire series, then it's not really spoilers to you, but. It's hard to not talk about what will happen in the series. Well, talk about the series without going too deep into plot. I can say that the first eight volumes are basically starting out for the series, like introduction of characters, um, plot, um, what they all have to do to save. Well, live, and then like part uh, volume nine to sixteen is basically the um, end of the series. Well, the uh, basically uh, okay. First eight are basically starting out. And the last eight are finishing up, uh, just clean up every last thing, like what happens. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Screw it. I'll just end. You find out near the end of volume one that the world they are in is a future, a apocalyptic future of their world. And throughout the series, they try to um, fix the wrong, uh, fix whatever has happened to their world. And with each thing they do in the present time, the future will change. And you can see some, well, at least for in the first eight, it's not really showing much that happens. And nine onwards shows like really um plot driven um scenes and besides the last two which are well you'll f well the second group of villains cuz with the time travel thing it changes and then the main like main main characters of the series Though with only 16 volumes, like I've said, an amazing series. For me, when I started it, it was only like, well, through Shonen Jump, when it was being sold here, well, at least when the bookstore here was still open, it had gone up to about volume... Um... Okay, just about the end of Volume 3. With each passion, passion, passing series, the characters you'll end up loving, I sound weird like that, enjoying, and, and, uh, they grow, grow, grow to, on, grow you, uh, they grow on you as they grow themselves to become who they are at the end of the series. I highly recommend you guys check out this series. You will... Unless you've seen the series, then you know what I'm talking about with this series. And if you do get this series, and if you think that they could make a possible sequel to this series... Well, they probably won't, but... Will it make you feel like th there could be a, a sequel to this series? Tell me in the comments below. Until then, see ya. Adios. Good